next thing we'll we'll see something like GNS3 uh, VMware integration. Now this is typically required if you want to simulate some kind of IOS V, whether it is a layer two or layer three images, uh, or any viral images, or if you want to integrate some IOU images or ASA V images, uh, simulating an ASA firewall, or even most of the advanced uh, devices like XR XR routers or CSRV or maybe you, you want to run some kind of other other vendor products you need to integrate with the VMware because those images actually works with VM so probably you need some uh, VM integration required for this so basically the first step you, you make sure that you have the VMware installed with license and I do have the VMware already already installed here you can see GNS3 a VM workstation I'll be using here now the next thing make sure that you also download the GNS3 VM file now you can go to the GNS3 official website for downloads you can use this download option and then you you need to download the, this is a download link for GNS3 and you have alternate link for download VM for the GNS3 and make sure that this VM uh, matches the the GNS3 set of file because uh, in general let's say uh, in my scenario I'm using GNS3 2.1.0. beta version so the the VM file whatever the VM file you are going to use here it must match that particular version so so the basic prerequisite is like uh, the, the GNS3 version what we are using and the VM must be on the same version so here I'm, I'm using this this version so probably I do have the same uh, VM file linked inside the VMware now the next thing you can you can actually follow some steps which are present inside this documentation GNS3 documentation you can go to that particular URL yeah, I think this one the VMware GNS3 setup with the GNS3 VM so you can use different other options like VirtualBox or VMware uh, preferable VMware workstation or if you're using some advanced user you can use ESXi for advanced users but again you also have some reference videos which you can use them to follow the exact same steps uh, these are available on the YouTube from the GNS3 uh, you can you can get into this link like which VM to install again as I said if you are downloading uh, if, if you are uh, specifically using the GNS3 1.5.2 you have to use the same image you can see the image here but again these are the screenshots of the older versions but still make sure that it matches and this is going to be the setup file uh, once you download and probably you need to open up the VM and then open the virtual machine you can go to file and open also and then you need to select the this image once you extract, extract that image you need to select this uh, GNS3 VM file and then select the select the hard disk where you want to save the file and then it will automatically start importing and you'll see this option so probably I did already here so I don't need to do it again so you can either power on the VM directly from here or you, you also need to integrate this VM uh, from from the GNS3 because when you integrate with the GNS3 probably whenever you open up the GNS3 it will open automatically power on this VM automatically Anyway, I do have already linked here, but I'll show you some steps here. You can see some of the steps, uh, how to configure this. You need to get into this uh, setup wizard. So in the setup wizard, you must select this option of run modern iOS uh, V. This, this is the first option because here we'll be using GNS3 VM. And then you, you can select the option host bindings uh, typically just this option just you can you can say next ends so once you click on next okay so if you just get back here this is the local server configuration so normally you don't need to make any changes to this configurations because uh, it's still the same thing so click on next and then it will ask you which program you have been using for integrating the VM so generally we use uh, the VMware and then select the VMware the file and the core processors you can use two if it supports and you can allocate the amount of memory or the RAM to utilize so and then just click on next and finish 
So mostly the same steps you have to follow as per the videos here you'll see or, or just as per the as per the screenshots here and if you are running some high-end processors you can also uh, dedicate some four core processors virtual and some more ram if needed and then that's it so once you click on finish you see this option now this option now here from here you can add the iou images if you have or any other options here but of course we we do it in a separate video and you'll see this vm will be communicating and if you if you if you are an advanced user you can go to edit and preferences if you go to gns3 vm option here you you see it's by default enabled and we'll be using the vmware workstation or the player and generally the vm the when you are selecting the vm player it will automatically list out the images which are present inside the vmware here you can see here i, I got multiple images here and you can simply say uh, select the action like when you are closing the gns3 you can suspend it or stop the vm and these are the, like default settings you just leave it to defaults so most likely if your vm and the gns3 is working probably you will see this green button uh, it says that it's working so probably you need to do some kind of troubleshooting like because in general whenever you power on the vm like here you can see uh, there's nothing you do just you power on the vm you see some uh, you see this output now based on this output you see some ip address will be pre-configured here and when you install the vm automatically it will extract the ip here like in this case it is using 9.128 ip address so what you need to do is you need to make sure that the in case if you are troubleshooting uh, gns3 if your gns3 is not able to communicate with the vm so make sure that these two are on the same subnet like uh, like the gns3 means in, in the pcs whatever the nic which we are using here so you can go and check the settings so inside the vm settings here you have an option of network adapter so here you can see i'm using the vm net one interface so which means in my case this uh, this gns3 vm it is using vmnet one interface which is a logical nic card connected on my pc connecting to this vm so make sure that the ip address on this vmnet interface it must be on the same subnet as on the vm like it, it must be from 192 168 9. Uh, same subnet because the vm is running 9.128 so practically if they are in different subnets it's not going to work so if you don't make any changes to the VM, generally it will select the IP dynamically from the VMs. But this is something you need to know because when you are using multiple VMs, you may want to use different different NICs for different scenarios. Like here you can see this VMNet1. I think this is the interface. What is VMNet1? Because I have changed the name. Because I, I do recommend you to change these names because it's it's very difficult to see that interface you can see i have configured 9.1 and this is the vmnet 1 interface and from the pc you should be able to ping to the vm in general like 128 what is the ip 9.128 so that works so this is something runs automatically but most of the time you don't need to do anything but if you are doing some kind of troubleshooting where if your gns3 is not able to communicate with vm so most likely it will be the network setting issues. Now running this setup is very important if you want to simulate uh, the, the images, most of the advanced images uh, with a GNS3.